there's enough space on the top. Drill the hole in this. Because of my 20 gallon. Well, I can't always. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some of my gadgets that I use. You know, I had a little doubt on whether I should even present them because they're not a big deal and you may be using something already. So these are just three gadgets that I've made for literally no money. It doesn't cost much at all. All three of them probably under $10. The first one is how I make this little nori clip for my tang, which is now in the 75 gallon. Busted out the nori, it comes like this. And it comes in sheets and there's like a perforated line here. And there's kind of a rough side and a smoother shiny side. I fold it so the rough side stays out. It makes it easier probably for the tang to reach it. So what I do is I fold it up like this. All right, and there's one folded already. What I do is I cut it long enough so when I fold it in half, there's enough space on the top for the magnet and enough space on the bottom for the nori to be placed. I also cut a hole in the bottom. So what I can do is when I put the nori in, I cut the, the slot large enough so I can slide a little bit of the bottom out. What I was finding was when I didn't do that, the tang was trying to eat it here. I'm sure it was getting some, but this makes it a little easier. It doesn't fall out. It'll still stay on there. So what I do is I fold in the sides and then I put one magnet on one side and I slide the folded side down in along the glass. And now you have your nori feeder clip or whatever you want to call it. If you guys have any do-it-yourself things that you've made that you find really effective with your reef tank, leave it in the comments below. Maybe even email me a pic. My email is in the about section on the main page, on the home page of the Tom Reefer channel. Send me a pic and I can mention it in one of my videos or steal your idea. None of these gadgets are that brainy. You know, guys, they're just little things that I've done. And a matter of fact, they've probably been done before but I thought I'd show you. Maybe you haven't seen them before. This one was really important to me. My gravel vac for my 75 gallon. The 75 gallon is 21 inches high. 24. Oh, I forget. 20 inches. 20 inches high and I don't want to always put my hand and arm in when I'm vacuuming the sand bed. So what I did is I made this All right, so the next one is the gravel vac for tall tanks with an airlift tube and rubber stopper. The plugs are one inch diameter exterior, so they fit almost perfectly inside the airlift tube. They're a little larger, but that allows you to stick them down inside quite hard and they'll stay in there. You can get about 10 of these for three bucks or something like that. The airlift tube comes in four foot lengths, so I wanted one long enough so I could put it down inside my tank without needing to put my hand in there. So what you're gonna do is drill a hole down in the center of the stop. I used a 3 8 drill bit to drill a hole down inside here, like I did with the skimmer in my other video. And then I just force the hose down inside, add some silicone. You know, the diameter is small too, so I can put it down inside the tank and reach places around rocks underneath things that a larger one wouldn't be able to do.
This one is probably only if you have a tank in a place where you can't get your hand in the side to clean your glass off. My 20 gallon has two sides that way and I try to gadget. Here it is. This thing. This thing was like 14 bucks, but look at the back. From here to here is probably about an inch and a half to two inches. Guess what it doesn't do? So this is what I made to clean the sides of my tank where I can't get my hand in there. All right, Home Depot yard stick or meter stick for you guys over in UK and Europe. It's a meter stick. Paper towel and you leave a little bit over the top and you just wrap it around stuff out here hold on you wrap it around you leave a little over the top because you don't want to scratch anything and you fold it around like this i mean this is super simple but it works great some masking tape just a little, you don't need too much. And you wrap it around, and there you go. So what you can do, and you spray this down with Windex on one side, just slide it inside wherever the hard to get spot is, and there you go. You can totally clean the whole side. Look at that, oh, look at that, all right? And that's it, meter stick, buck 49 at Home Depot, big box store. Paper towels that you get anyway, and tape.